so I thought my camera was recording, turns out it was not. So, to sum up what has happened thus far, we are on our third meal from HelloFresh. This is chicken cacciatore. We chopped up some chicken and seasoned that with salt and pepper, cooked that, set it aside, and then we chopped up some veggies and cooked the onion, garlic, thyme, bay leaf, mushrooms, green bell pepper, a can of crushed tomatoes, and let that simmer for a while. So this has thickened. Yeah, so we noticed this one has a little Italian flag on it. This one has a little TNT on the menu. And the shepherd's pie, nothing, you couldn't think of anything for the shepherd's pie. Lazy art department. Bad, bad art department. Don't yell at the art department. Nothing. Add a linguine to the boiling water, cook the yes. yep. drain and toss with Great. one tablespoon butter. One tablespoon. Right. Once the sauce is thickened, add the chicken to the sauce and cook for five minutes or until warmed through and then remove the bay leaf. And then serve the chicken over the buttered linguine and sprinkle with chopped parsley and that's it. This is, um, once again, a ton of food. Yes, it's a ton of food. It's in the corner. Let's go get it. Yeah, this is not very saucy. It's zero sauce. And it, you know, it's not like I, um, I cooked it too long, because it wasn't very saucy to begin with. Yeah, okay. Let's try it. Alright. I'm excited. Yeah, it's it said the linguine's going to soak up the sauce, but there's no sauce. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the amount of time that you spend thickening it, you know, guarantees that there's no sauce in there. Yeah, but it, like, you know, like I said, when just we dumped the chicken. tomatoes in and stuff, there was, like, no juice. It was just all tomatoes. So. The chicken by itself is really good. I think it needs maybe a little bit of salt and pepper flakes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of salt, maybe. But otherwise, it's it's pretty good. I was worried that it was going to be really dry. And really mm. lacking just because not that it doesn't have enough you know seasoning in there uh, you know enough you know veggies in there and stuff but just without the sauce but it's actually very good it's you know it's not as dry as I thought it was gonna be and yeah it's tasty I mean I think maybe we could have salted it a little more you know just while we were cooking it yeah I don't really have anything bad to say about it I think that the chicken ended up soaking up a lot of it and that that tastes really good yeah I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, cool. Okay, so that finishes us up for this Hello Fresh box. I think overall this has been my favorite box of really? any of the boxes we've had. You mean from I overall, mean from like, Blue Apron, Plated, No, Donald. no, no. I mean, uh, I mean like uh, uh, just overall or like just the food or the cook time. Does that have like cook time included in your evaluation or is it? Flat out favorite. Flat out favorite. Whoa. Flat man. out favorite. The gobble is great because it's quick and easy. I yeah. do appreciate that. But these meals are not terribly difficult. And I think that they're worth it. I think that's the thing. It's like when we're done cooking and chopping, I feel like I've made a nice, fresh, homemade meal and it's delicious and there's a ton of food. Well, it's a lot less chop, it's a lot less preparation than Blue Apron and they're a lot less bland. Although I've heard that the Blue Aprons are getting better, so we may have to go back and get another Blue Apron yeah. and check them out. Yeah, it could be. This is a little bit more expensive than Blue Apron. Blue Apron was the cheapest at $9.99. Mm -hmm. um, this one, is, it depends on if you get the classic box or the veggie box. Mm -hmm. um, the prices do vary a little bit. Plated was good. I have nothing really bad to say about Plated, mm -hmm. but this, to me just stands out as stellar food. Right. Um, the website could use a little bit of help. It's complicated. Just in like finding things, but yeah. I really, really appreciate that they have the recipes on the website. Mm -hmm. Because like, I don't think Plated did. Really? I don't think so. Gobble definitely didn't. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Apron does. Well, I can kind of see Gobble not having them because the whole point of Gobble is that you're taking it out, you're dumping it, and you're cooking, you're done. Right, like, right. You're not going to make that again. Right. But, you know, but oh, some yeah. of these I do want to make again. Or like after my mom saw the first video, she was like, oh, I really want that recipe. And it's yeah. not like she can order the box and get that same recipe. Yeah. So, you know. I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I'll, I'll take the Gobble boxes over these. I think the food was 90% as good as this. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely, I think, I think slightly better, you know, food overall. Um, Maybe, you know, I'm sure the quality is the, the same, but just the, the taste, you know, I like these a bit better. But just the time of the gobble, you the dump time. it in, you're done. Like, that's that's like 90% of the score for me is how right. much time does it take. Right. You know, so that that with how good they were, I, I take the gobble meals over these just for the Yeah, time. gobble but, meals, if, if you're just looking for quick, easy, and good, yeah. gobble is definitely. But if you have a little bit of time, these are great. They're not as long as the Blue Apron, and they are very tasty. I think they're tastier, a lot tastier than the Blue Apron. I think they're a lot tastier. And yeah. I think so these are really, um, really good boxes. 
They just give you so much more food, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could e easily have a third. You know, yeah, especially with Blue Apron. I would have, like, a leftover giant thing of quinoa. Right. But, and you know, we would have each had, you know, three bites of chicken. But, yeah, for this, you know. Yeah, this is good. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.